Hey guys, it's Rock here, and welcome to a very special video, because this is something I've been wanting to talk about for a little while, and that's my favorite anime. So this season right now, I am currently stuck on a whole slew of them, but I'm going to give you my top five for right now. So, without further ado, number one, it's more of a top ten, but, well, top five, I guess. So number five, number five position is In Another World, My Smartphone. This anime is so amazing, because... It is just all kinds of awesome. So literally, a guy dies in an accident that God hasn't, you know, approved of. He's like, "Oh, sorry, you know, I can't revive you in this world, but let's put you in another world. Is there anything you want to keep?" And you know, the kid's like super awesome. Like, no, I don't want to keep anything. Like, you know, what, what about my smartphone? And then it's, it's it's one of those things that has a really cool premise behind it, and the story unfolds so nicely and. It gives me a giant, like, Kirito vibes, like, with the way the character is styled. But at the same time, it has, like, that whole harem thing going on. It, it's kind of weird, but, but... Yeah. So, that's my fifth one. My fourth one... If I can find the right one. It's called The Classroom of the Elite. This show is amazing. So, if you ever watched another... It's kind of like that same style, but instead of people dying off, it's people losing points. And I love these kind of animes that are so, like, so witty and intelligent. And it's like learning how to play a game for the first time. Like, if you ever play, like, Monopoly or something, it's like learning how to play that, only in anime form. So it's like, what the hell's going on? You got people earning points, people losing points all kinds of stuff and this anime really caught me like the very first episode it was like holy crap what's going on and then I haven't watched the new one yet which I'm going to do right after this video but oh my god I love this anime it really is something that I like uh, it's actually on Wednesdays at 12 p.m. EDT I, I use Crunchyroll for all my stuff as you can tell because I love Crunchyroll Crunchyroll is amazing and it's been actually importing new not really new but it's been importing a lot of Funimation's older series, and I love that because now I can start like checking off. Yep, seen that one, seen that one. Ooh, I want to watch that one again. So, but this one, this anime here is fucking phenomenal. But next up, my first girlfriend is a gal, and this one is really strange because it's one of those things where a guy who has no luck at all. It, let me put it this way, it kind of, it gives me high school DXD vibes. And it's so awesome that I get to feel those again. Because you have a guy who's a total loser, who has his loser friends. His friends, you know, write up a love letter and stick it into the main, the main female character, her. They stick it in her locker. And from there, it like devolves into all kinds of weirdness. You know, the guy is brand new to love. He doesn't know what's going on. He's never dated before. And every, he like goes to these things and does stuff with his new girlfriend. And he's got those weird thoughts in his mind that every guy has. And it's funny to watch that. So, you know, in, in my opinion, this is a lot more entertaining than the previous two. But the previous two both, again, have their own merits. So, yeah. As you can kind of see from the, <laughs> the tab up here, second place is going to be Boruto. Naruto Next Generations because it's already on the 19th episode which of course I'm including things that are continuing right now as well as you know stuff that started here just because Boruto is so awesome like I didn't think I was gonna get it just like oh great another Naruto you know extension blah 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 but this show is actually pretty cool like the very first incident is already like done and over with but it's starting to get into where they're gonna start pulling like start getting into uh into team soon and I can't wait because there's so much that's supposed to go on like the very first couple of seconds of the first video it's just like the first episode it's just it's a flash forward into the future and it's so bad ass for that first couple minutes until the actual like anime story starts so it's like okay so when are we gonna see this fight is it in episode 100 500 what is it gonna be so, I, I can't wait to see how Boruto unfolds. He's already, he, he's, 
<sighs> One thing I don't like about Boruto is that, unlike Naruto, he has his father and his mother, Naruto and Hinata. But he doesn't seem to understand, like he, like in the previous episode, the day in the life of the Uzumakis. He, you see him being so happy that his dad is becoming Hokage, and then you go back and you think like. What the hell? He was so happy. He was so, you know, forthgoing for this. And he just seems like, you know, he, he has an immense love for his father, but doesn't want to, you know, out it. He doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to show himself lesser of a man. And it's really cool to watch that because, I don't know, it, it, it's, it's just really cool all around. So, it's definitely something I want to watch. It's something I'm definitely enjoying. So... Episode 19, I haven't seen yet. I'm going to be watching that, too. And, I don't know about you guys, but last but not least, again, the, the tab up top kind of spoils it. My Hero Academia. Episode 31 just came out last week. I am literally caught up to all episodes. That's, for some reason, it wasn't that, but you got last season. Then you got all of this season stuff. I love where the story was going. The most recent story being the hero killer stain. I love how that's getting transitioned from because the hero killer was basically used to fortify and in shaping the couple of students that weren't quite catching on to what a hero really was. And I'm glad that that story came out because now it's just like it's setting us up for now you got people who are going to be like true heroes going against a soon to be strengthened League of Villains. And it, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm hoping they don't stop at episode 32. Because it goes by. What does it go by? 16 episodes? 13. So I mean, technically it should have stopped at 26. But they just finished the story arc. So I'm, I'm afraid that it might, you know, put it on hiatus. But I hope to God not. Because this thing is something I continue watching faithfully. Like, this thing, I have a couple friends at work that I talk to about this anime, and I just love it all around. So, but you guys, you know, this is my top five. Uh, you know, pe different people have different uh, flavors, have different uh, viewpoints on what anime they like. You know, their couple. You know, maybe your number one is Boruto, or maybe your number one is the another world of a smartphone. You know, the whole point is. This is what I like. This is, you know, taking all the ones I've watched. Like, I'll show you my... Mm, uh, I don't kind of like this. Uh, let's see. Let me go to Q. Can I go to Q? Q, Q? No. Q, Q, no. Okay. So I'll go to Crunchyroll real quick. You can just see all the tab stuff. Like Naruto Shippuden, Dragon Ball Z, Sayuki Reloaded, Cinder Children. I hope girl never caught on. But all the tab things are things I've watched before. Like Attack on Titan, Fairy Tale, a Full Metal Alchemist, obviously. Code Geass, I just finished rewatching the entire thing over again. Oh, I love that show. Food Wars, Shok uh, Shoku Shokugeki no Soma? Yeah. And then, you thought there was never a girl online. ReZero, oh my god, I love this show so much and I can't wait for it. ReZero is definitely one I want to see a future, uh, like a continuation of that. No Game, No Life, I definitely want to see more of. I mean, I, I can go on and on and nerd out on a lot of this crap. I, I'm, I'm really excited about a comic got kill, how that ended. Parasite, oh my god. I, I gotta watch a couple of these over, just because I'm, I'm like, it's, it's weird whenever you pull it back up, it's like, ooh, wait, that was a really good one. I have not seen Yuri on Ice. I know there's a lot of people who talk about that one. I need to look into it. No Game No Life. It's stuck on 12 episodes. Oh, it needs to be like 40 episodes right now. Like really badly. <laughs> the regular at the Magical High School. That one deserves a next season. Because they left it on a, a decent uh, decent cliffhanger. World Trigger needs to continue. There's a lot of these shows that need to continue. So, Toradora. Danganronpa. Yeah, that one. Oh, wait, I just, yeah, I just finished watching Shiki, which is a really good one. 
But yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been watching, like, in, a, in my personal time. If I'm not streaming or whatever, or even, like, at lunch at work, I'll just queue up a video on my phone and just start watching. But yeah. But number one, My Hero Academia. Just because this thing, you would never, like, for me, I thought everything was already touched as far as, you know, as far as everything. And then you find this awkward kid who has no powers who gain who gains powers who then is slowly Midoriya is like Naruto and he's like Goku he put together and it's so cool because he can influence people next to him and around him and at the same time he's getting himself stronger and stronger he's learning how to control that power that was passed down to him and it's one of those things where it's gonna be another great show if it doesn't become a 500 part series like Bleach, Naruto, you no, know, One Piece, I'll be highly disappointed. Because this is something that could definitely go on for multiple seasons. But, that's all the time I have for this one. Uh, I know it's short and sweet, but like I said, this is something I've been wanting to talk about because this hits me in my heart. I love anime. You know, I definitely know Closet Otaku or anything like that. I don't know if that's really a term you would use for me, but... Oh, well. Either way, it is what it is. But thanks, guys, so much for watching. Thanks for, you know, listening to my viewpoints. You know, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite enemy is, you know. If you see any of the ones on the list here, leave a like. And, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.